So I'm here today with Jason, and this is a very meticulous homeowner. He's had a favorite driveway installed. How long ago? Six years ago. So a driveway that's six years old, obviously a very big investment for a homeowner to invest in a paver driveway, not only for aesthetics, but you're expecting that longevity being segmental pavement. And this is actually permeable in the location that we're at with the waterways and whatnot. What's your concern? You have one disappointing part of it. What is it? So uh, the driveway only accommodates three or four cars. So you get the three or four cars in and people have to do multiple turns and they ultimately end up end up driving off the edge of the pavement. Subsequently, the pavers end up opening up the joints a little bit, rolling, uh, what I call failing. I wanted a more durable edge restraint. The, I believe the pavers were put in properly and they did a nice job, uh, they drain well, but the edge just does not hold up. That was my whole reason for, for calling Phil and Pave Tool is because it's just disappointing that when somebody goes off the pavers, the pavers are you know half into the grass and you know, it won't hold their edge. So Jason here, he is not a stranger to landscape, softscapes, tree work, and make, just elaborate on that, because I think it builds into what you're trying to capture here. I, I've been in this business, honestly, almost 40 years uh, myself. I think 38 right now, and I love it. You know, I appreciate start to finish of projects. I love seeing something go from uh, nothing to something. On my project, I really wanted to have these uh, pavers restrained better, but not lose the ability to have a grass strip. The grass strip really softens the look between the pavers and the plantings. I started researching what's the best way to uh, restrain these pavers and I looked into, gosh, you know, 18 inch thick granite, uh, poured concrete. And I realized I didn't want to lose that grass strip and because that was very important just aesthetically. And also a little bit of overflow. When a car did go off the, uh, the pavers, it, it wasn't going to be into the plantings, it would just be onto lawn. So, I did my research, I found Pave Tool, uh, and Pave Tool has this uh, hybrid edging that um, I was excited to try because that was gonna enable me to have my grass and have the, the pavers restrained. And uh, after doing a consult with uh, Phil, and uh, we brought his team out here, I'm really excited to see the results. So we've been at it a little over two hours now. Got our sod dug out, got our edging dug out, pavers all uh, torn back to where it was starting to obviously drift out or collaterally creep. And there's often a saying that you hear, if you can't afford to do it right the first time, how will you ever afford to do it right the second time? So like this, if this was under warranty, this is gonna cost your company. I got three of us here today, you could do two. But you're gonna be at least a half a day, two guys, probably four or five, maybe even six hours of labor, two guys, so 12 hours of labor. So you think about that, and we talk about opportunity costs, right? Where if it takes me 10 minutes longer to do a task, I've lost 20, because the extra 10 I spent, I could have started my next task. So you think about being on a job for half a day with two guys, you think about the profitability that those two personnel could be generating instead of coming back and doing a redo such as this. And if it's a job that is out of warranty, now you have a disappointed customer that now they're paying money out of their back pocket when they trusted you to install a project right the first time that they didn't want to fail. So either way, it's really a lose situation if you end up having to go back and repair something where a situation like this, you want to install the right products for the right job that's gonna to lead to a lifetime of longevity of your project. So I'm using the aluminum here, two pieces together, that's going to give me the gap that I need. This is permeable, obviously, and we need joint fill to lock this together. Anytime we want interlock, we need joint material to space out from paver to paver to help with that interlock. And that's what I'm using the aluminum for as a spacer. It won't work on a curb, but on a nice straight uh, section like this, it keeps my, my cuts nice and straight, keeps my line straight, and we can continue on with our edging. So 
So when doing a drivel application like we are doing in this case, we have the flip up tab, which you can use the tool that comes with the edging, every bundle, or if you don't have the tool, you happen to misplace it, you can, in this little notch, just grab your any kind of a pliers, reach right in there. That's all I'm doing is reaching it to this little cutout and flipping it up. That keeps it at a nice 90 degree angle here. And you're adding the strength to that sidewall for long lasting edging. So a crucial part to the installation is making sure that your edges are backed up nice and tight. We're going to redo the sod here at some point. So getting that soil pulled up to the edge, getting it compacted. If you are taking traffic, vehicular traffic, and driving off the edge, you don't want to just drive off a complete edge. So with this having topsoil backing it up, that'll add support and stability. And again, an edging that's going to last you for lots of years. As a uh, inventor, obviously inventing the hybrid edging, that was really probably one of the greatest areas of concern for me as an installer for almost 40 years, will be next year. Um, there's that outside edge, laterally creeping, and our edging solves that problem, and I appreciate you finding paved tool and finding the hybrid edge, and we're uh, thankful for the opportunity that you've given us to come down here and solve a problem. I'm really looking forward to the end product, uh, the durability that uh, it's gonna uh, bring to us, and uh, it's great working with you guys. Thanks, Jay. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, likewise. Thank you.